28th, and I'm getting ready to start pruning my roses about two weeks early. But the forsythia is blooming. I always say that's the time to prune your roses. The other thing I'm noticing, and this is what I want to talk about today, in middle of December, we got down to single digits here in the upstate of South Carolina. That is very cold for us. I realize not cold for other parts of the country. But what happened is I have a lot of dieback on my roses. Let me show you what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. You can see by these three roses here, there's a lot of dieback. There's growth in the middle. In fact, back here, there's one that almost looks dead completely. So this is the time to not be shy with these roses. So I'm going to cut these back, show you what I've done, and then I'll come back to you. I want to take a little time to focus on this plant. It is looks completely dead. However, it's not. If you get down in here, and I know it's hard to see, but I'll see if I can point it out with my clippers. See, there's a little green right there. And even on this cane, there's a little green as well. That tells me that something's alive down underneath the ground there. This is why you bury your bud unions in a cold climate, folks, because hopefully I've got something living down there. So I'm going to whack this thing hard and show you exactly what I'm about to do. And that is what is left of the rose. As you can see, there's a bit of green. But most importantly, if I swing around this way, you can see right there on there, white pith in the center. That tells me this rose is still alive and still has a shot. Before I go on this video, one more thing I want to leave you with. That's where I started. Remember how low those roses were? This is the bed that you probably recognize from photographs. This is the uh, my wood shop, actually. And I just want to walk through, and you can see how the different roses react. This is Glory of Edsel right in here. Not even any dive back, even back to the tip. Absolutely doing well. Blanc de Viber, same thing, doing extremely well. Some modern climbers. Down here, an unreleased, soon to be released, through Jackson Perkins, John Ford rose. Look at that thing. Didn't even trim it, doing extremely well. So it's rose specific, climate specific, area specific. Treat them all differently. That's the important takeaway from this video. So I hope that helps you understand what to do when you get this kind of damage to your roses in the wintertime. It's not uncommon. I think this year, based on what I've seen around the country and what people are telling me, we're gonna see a lot of this. So again, reiterate, don't be shy. Cut back to green, even if it means cutting down to an inch high. Do not worry about bud eyes outward facing, inward facing, you don't care. What this is going to hopefully do is spur new growth from the bud union, if it's a grafted rose. If it's an own root rose, you're golden. It's going to get new growth no matter what. It's the growth underneath the ground that I'm focusing on right now. We'll come back like in the summertime when these things are up and blooming again. <laughs> Notice my confidence. <laughs> these guys are up and blooming again, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. And this is kind of a new series I want to do this year. I'm just going to kind of putter through my own garden, share a little time with you, spend a little time saying this is what I'm doing, this is what I'm not doing. Show you, hey, what's gone wrong, what's gone right. So welcome to my garden 2023.